Hello, my name is Michael Ensor, founder of Advertiser Report Card, and this video is all about what is a search term report. A lot of people might think they know. We're going to tell you how we do it. So this is considered a behind the scenes walkthrough. So this is what you see when you go into uh, Google Ads. There's you know dozens of options. Click on keywords, it'll bring you to the keyword section of what you're bidding on in that account. And it'll show you your keywords on the left side here. And it'll show you what you're spending and your performance over here. Again, lots of numbers. If you're not familiar with the interface, you might not be 100% familiar. When you go to search terms, it'll show you the actual search terms that show up in the report from what you triggered from your keywords. So these are not the keywords we're bidding on. The keywords that we're bidding on are here, but this is what was triggered because of that. So what do you do with all this information? <clears throat> well, the main thing about targeting is you want to make sure things are parsed into groups and that it makes sense because if you have an ad reading for one keyword when it's showing for another, it might cause confusion to the person looking at it. So this is a report that we look at daily and we take action on it weekly to make sure that we have our finger on the pulse of what we are looking to target. So with that being said, we back out all of this data and we pull it into our own report where we assign specific labels. Competitor labels are easy because they're for competitors. You don't want to bid on a competitor unless it's on purpose. That's called a conquest campaign where you put competitor keywords into a, a actual targeting strategy. So anybody who searches for your competitors, you show up on top of them. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. I highly recommend focusing on your main keywords first and then bridging the gap into the additional strategies like conquest campaigns, unless you have a big budget and then you can make moves faster. Otherwise, you want to make sure you're maximizing your value for your core keywords first. Next is we're looking for things to exclude, things that don't make sense, things that we can avoid, things that we don't want to deal with. In this instance, this is for private jet charters. We want to exclude anything that has to do with people talking about their charters that are not related. I'm speaking about their jets that are not charters that are not related, jets for sale, things that this person does not do. And then there are focus keywords, things that we want to add to the campaign because we know they're going to be powerful. They're going to drive results. They're things that we want that we haven't already specifically targeted. As you can see here, some have already been added, some have not. And then we have the keep section. Things that we are unsure if we should really focus on. And then also things we do not want to exclude in case they might produce results later. What we're left with are two things that we call regional and service ask client or confirmation. So what we look for in this situation is we're trying to confirm if this is a region we want to work in. Likewise, if a service we see in the search results is actually a service we offer. The cool thing with the way that we pull the report is you haven't actually paid anything for any of these search terms. There's no clicks. We've only shown one impression for the most of them. So we've been able to glean this data from your campaign running without you having to pay for all these individual keywords. So we're going to know what to exclude, what to focus on, and what to keep based off of the feedback that we get from everybody that we speak to about their search term reports. So if you are watching this and you're someone that we work with, what you can anticipate is getting an email uh, every so often, uh, at least once a month, sometimes once a week, maybe sometimes more than once a week if we have something we need to focus on. But the main thing is that when you send it back to us, make sure you apply the focus, the exclude or the keep label. Focus meaning you want to target this service. Keep meaning it's not a primary focus, but you don't want to exclude it. You just don't want to bid extra budget on that specific keyword for keep. Exclude means you do not provide that service or you do not work in that region and you do not wish to ever bid on that again. So again, make sure to apply your keep, your focus, and your exclude labels. When we get that information back, we take that feedback and we apply it to your campaign. If you have any questions on this, please let me know. Again, Michael Ensor with Advertiser Report Card. See you soon.